I mean, I'll, I'd like to use an example here of a, um, you know, yeah. a customer that we've worked with um, recently, and and that that's CarMax, right? And and CarMax um, hmm. used uh, Azure OpenAI really to go back and look at their customer reviews and their customer feedback. Okay. Um, so you know, all of that content had sort of been generated post purchase. Um, they had a lot of it, and they went through and used uh, Azure OpenAI to to aggregate um, and and to summarize, really to find the, the the little jewels right within all of those those customer reviews, and they used that to then create sort of uh, you know new product descriptions or or even better content you know for use both in the uh, post-purchase, but also in, in the pre-purchase scenario. So like you say, um, I mean, there are a lot, that, that's just one example. There are a lot of similar use cases. Um, you know, we see folks using um, using generative AI in a post-purchase scenario via the chatbot, as you say, right? A lot of people have questions yeah. um, after they purchase, how do, you know, how do I, how do I turn it on? Where do I put the batteries? <laughs> you know, what, what do I, what do I do? Another common use case is really sort of um, scheduling installation, right? And again, mm -hmm. that, that might be something, uh, mm. an application that gets, um, you know, installed uh, on, on a computer or a kiosk in a store, in the mall. It could be in the chat bot afterward, right? Um, and, and a lot of these little scenarios are ones where, um, again, wh where is the human in the loop, right? You, you probably need less of a human in, in the loop in, in these scenarios. There might be one for you know, say who who's on call for escalations or or what have you. I think the interesting um, point about the 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 first use case that I talked about about the, you know summarizing user reviews and feedback is that the estimate was that the work that Azure OpenAI was able to do was about was would have taken one person eleven years to do right, <laughs> and and the generative AI system was was able to do it um, in in a week. So um, again, if you're you know if you're not going to have um, a human in the loop in this situation, you have to think okay. So how am I going to manage, you know, how these systems work? And again, as as Mary has said, and some of her, you know, previous descriptions, um, you look at, okay, well, I'm probably going to use content filters here, right, to make certain that say that there's no, you know, foul or obscene language, you know, going back and forth. You may have a meta prompt which says, you know, only, um, you know, only schedule a time if there is a time available, or you know, only give an answer if you know you know if, if the answer is accurate do not make up an answer there, there's lots of different you know ways that you operate without a human in the loop um, I think in this case we're also you know we're talking about the use of personal data about mm -hmm. customer data and so um, it's really making certain that you're following your in, internal policies or you know the the regulations in your jurisdiction around around the use of of personal data around the use of following up um and and sort of you know contacting a customer um and that they've agreed to allow you to do that right right um so it's it's sort of a, a lot of a lot of the same questions that we would ask otherwise otherwise right even if yeah. we were planning a marketing campaign or you know it, mm -hmm. it's just in this case we're doing it um post post purchase um I, you know one of the just going back one conversation we were talking about and chris you suggested well maybe maybe we need uh you know um a, a new ai team and and mm -hmm. you know you you may yeah. um but also what you can do is um you know sort of this this ai governance this you know identifying mitigations that can also be implemented into existing work streams right. that you have already right you may already have a privacy sme you may already have a security sme they may just be putting on a, you know a new, new hat, hat. So yeah. it, it might be new, but it, it may not be, right? It's it's again, it's a bit of a balance and it depends on the use cases that that you're implementing. 